Hey, it's Phil from Philips Dynalight. Um, we've got another video for you. This is the first in a series on our new Dynalight Cloud. The Dynalight Cloud is a tool that we are providing to our partners to allow them to better service their customers. It's a remote connectivity tool. Uh, it does have other features, but that's its primary intent. And with the remote connectivity, the service provider will be able to uh, diagnose problems, to make building tuning enhancements, uh, all without leaving their office. So let's crack on and have a look at the tool itself. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the first step, which is registering the gateway to the cloud. So for this demo, I've got a PDGS V2, and that PDG is connected to the internet via my router. Uh, and I'm connected locally to my PDGS via TCP. Okay, so I can see the white light flashing on front of the PDGS uh, by the cloud icon, and that is indicating to me that the PDGS is obviously powered and it's running, but it is not connected yet to the Dynalight cloud. I need to make sure that my Interact uh, account, that I'm logged in, so I can go to Tools, Interact Accounts, um, to log in and it will show me uh, at the bottom of the screen here it will show me my login status and there I can see Danlight Cloud online. So the next thing I need to do is set my gateways time zone. Um, to do that I select the gateway and go to tools, set location and time zone. So I'm going to go to plus 10 obviously for Sydney uh, and click OK. So the next thing I do is click on the top of the tree to open the project settings and under connection settings here I can select use online gateway connection. Uh, I then click configure to open the configure window. Uh, I want to make sure I've chosen here the closest region to my physical location or the physical location of the project uh, and that's for speed of ongoing comms and then I click register. Now, if the information in these fields is not automatically populated, then you need to go back to the PDEG or back to the gateway, uh, right click on it and go to request device information. That will then pull, System Builder will pull all that information from the gateway. You can then go back to the registration page and all the detail will be filled out. So click on the register button and the system will register the gateway in the cloud. And once that's done, if you look on your PDGS, you will get a solid white light next to your cloud icon. Okay, and then the PDGS is registered and you're ready to remotely connect. If I now go to my Danalite Cloud portal, uh, I can see my project, which I'd saved previously and I can see that I have a remote connectivity license and that license is due to expire in four weeks. So I now have a 28 day trial license which I can use for remote connectivity to the cloud. If I want to extend beyond that 28 days, it's a case of purchasing a 12 month uh, license extension that will then get registered and become visible in the cloud and you can manage those on an ongoing basis. And that's how you remotely connect a Dynalite system to the Dynalite cloud. That is going to allow service providers to provide an enhanced service to their customers, a faster response time uh, and a better experience when maintaining uh, an evolving uh, Dynalite lighting control system. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to talking to you about the cloud in future videos.